Welcome to the Fireflies. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were gonna show me where Stop. I get it. Why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me. Or even her. There is no other choice here. Yourself that bullshit. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I say keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. April 28. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. April 28th. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking, <laughs> more like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. <laughs> Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go ahead. The tests just keep getting harder and harder, don't they? I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. And I just want this to end. So be it.
get out of this yet. I'm coming, Ellie. Was that? Check over there. Well, not what about you? You guys. Go check over there. Oh. <laughs> 
What you got? Nothing. You see anything? I'll look around. You guys, go check over there. Will? Nothing. What about you? I'll check out this area. You guys, check over there. You got any surprises for me? Huh? Well, no. you see anything? You guys, go check over there. Going over this way. Shut down. Man. What the hell is this fuck? I'll search out here, man. Let's check over there. about me sometime.
Hey, Anna. It's been a while since we spoke. I, uh... I just gave the okay to proceed with the surgery. I really doubt I had much of a choice. Asking me was more of a formality. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Despite everything that I was in charge of, I looked after her. I would have done anything for her, and at times I... Here's a chance to save us. All of us. This is what we were after. What you were after. They asked me to kill the smuggler. I'm not about to kill the one man in this facility that might understand the weight of this choice. Maybe... he can forgive me. Oh, I miss you, Anna. Your daughter will be with you soon. What are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. This don't come any closer. I mean it. No! Fucking animal! Harry, shut the hell up! can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still the right thing here. She won't feel anything.
hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't done a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. Like we're walking. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Now watch your head going through. age now. Don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked it. I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. Oh. Look down there. It's a little bit further now. Here, I got you. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. No, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear no, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. 
I swear.